Hey guys, it's Jeff Hester from SoCal Hiker, and I'm here to unbox the summer Cairn Obsidian Collection. Cairn is a subscription box with outdoor products, really cool stuff, and the Obsidian Collection is really their top of the line stuff. It's a, it's a really nice deal, and you can see the packaging is really cool. Um, and we're gonna open this up. I haven't even taken a look at it. We don't know what's in here. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. Well, the first thing I see, just add water. So that gives me a clue that this is all about summer. Uh, the gear for a fun day on the water lies below the surface. Five, or one. Yeah. Five, keep it cool. Four, tell bugs to bug off. Three, soak it up. Two, save your skin. One, carry the day. And just really nicely packaged here. They have here, the very first item is the Mountain Smith Cooler, Cooler 12. And so it is, uh, they say here, uh, Outside Magazine has described it as a summer's best, uh, summer's buyer's guide. It was in there, featured in there. Um, 72 hours of cold temperatures with ice, um, keeps the interior dry, so it's got, oh, this looks nice, wow, check this out, a nice, uh, you know, pack for the beach, it's got some, uh, loops along the side to hook things on if you want to strap this onto something else or you want to strap something onto this. It's got a built-in bottle opener hanging from there. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, let's open it up and take a look inside. All right, so we have a zippered compartment here on the top. The lid hinges. And there's a shoulder strap, so you can hook that on to the clips on the side. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, and inside, more good stuff. So, um, the uh, Toad and Company Debug. So this has got, um, it's got insect shield technology. So it provides invisible odorless protection from, you know, mosquitoes, chiggers, ticks, noceums, and on and on. So. Um, you know, I can look stylish and still get, keep the bugs away. So one of the things that's kind of unique about the Obsidian package of Cairn is that they get all the details about the things that you're interested in, the sizes that you wear, and so on. So this is specifically for uh, my larger frame. What else do we have here? Uh, number three, soak it up, Pack Towel Lux Beach. I have a couple um, towels that I use for backpacking, but the thing that's, and the thing that's nice about them is that they're super absorbent and they don't have to take a lot of space. Here's one that is a full on beach towel uh, from Pack Towel. So it's a beach sized towel. It comes with a, a carrying bag with a zipper and the entire beach towel is, is this big. So you can see it's not really, it's not really that large. Um, super absorbent, fast drying, antimicrobial, so it stays fresh a little bit longer and uh, looks nice too. It's got a nice little loop on the side for hanging it up and that snaps on open as well. No, it does not snap open. So anyhow, it's got a super nice uh, design and that's gonna be with me on the, at the beach and probably some other places too. And then we have number two here, the uh, sunscreen. So you can never have really too much sunscreen. This stuff has, uh, there's two products here. One is All Good SPF 30 uh, sunscreen lotion. Uh, it's sport sunscreen screen lotion, which means that it's water and sweat resistant. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a good thing to be able to uh, wear when you're out there hiking and sweating. And uh, not, you'll still have to replace it periodically um, every 80 minutes, they say. So it's, it's water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes, which is pretty awesome. 
And the other thing about this particular product, All Good, is that it's formulated with organic products that are friendly to uh, the environment. So if it does, you know, when it does kind of come off, if you're in the body of water or anything, it's not going to pollute and harm the, uh, the fish and the other creatures of that, of that water. So that's pretty cool. And then for afterwards, they have a uh, coconut body lotion. So I, um, you know, your skin gets dry out there. This, this will help keep it moist. That'll be interesting to try. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, so that's it for the, what's in the cooler. Um, the cooler itself has like a really heavy vinyl lining and a zip top. And this looks like it's gonna work really well for you know keeping things cold. I might even be able to use this on our newer taco trip as a way to kind of keep the, the meat and the other things that we do for the, uh, the taco fixins in here as we backpack in the Sierras this summer. Let's put that aside. And let's see, we got one other thing on here. Uh, astral sandals, this'll be cool. So these are, uh, sandals with a heel strap so that you can, they're good for the water. So like if you're looking for a water crossing or something like that, um, like when I have did the John Muir Trail, there's a number of places where you cross the creeks and you have to take your boots off. You don't want to go barefoot, however, because the there's sticks, there's sharp rocks, there's it's slippery, so you need something with a little bit of grip. And you don't want to just wear flip-flops because they're too easily lost. They can slip off your foot and then they'll be downstream. So let's check these out. I actually haven't heard of Astral before, uh, but these look pretty interesting. Let's check it out. All right, so it's got a kind of a, a typical thong, um, a typical thong design on the front end, but it has this removable strap that you can put around your heel on the back. So, um, and you can adjust that so that it's not gonna fall off if you're in, you know, doing a water crossing or something like that. Um, the whole thing, there's no leather or anything like that. Um, so it looks like it's very quick drying. Uh, the fabric on the inside of the strap, it looks, it feels soft, and I don't know the material on here, but this is going to be pretty cool. Um, I'll check these out and see how they work out. I think I'll use these also when I go backpacking this year. I have a couple of trips planned. One, I'll be doing the Trans Catalina Trail, revisiting that this year to see, uh, to update our trail guide for that on SoCal Hiker. The route's changed a little bit, and this time we're going to take our time and uh, spend the night at Little Harbor, as well as Two Harbors, Parsons Landing, and Blackjack. So I think it's gonna be a much more enjoyable experience. It was great the first time, I think it's gonna be even better the second time. And I'll pick them on that. And then the other one, the other trip I have is a uh, backpacking trip, uh, the, the North Lake, South Lake Loop out of Bishop. So we go up over Paiute Pass, down through, up through uh, Evolution Valley, over Muir Pass, down into uh, LeConte Canyon, and then finally up over Bishop Pass back to South Lake. So it's a nice, nice, nice trip. We have a write-up from Greg Glass on our website about that trip. But uh, we're doing that for this year's, one of this year's Muir Taco trips, where we bring fresh tacos and cerveza to PCT and JMT through hikers. And these will be handy for some of the creek crossings. There's a, a big one in Evolution Valley just below McClure Meadows and uh, I'll give these a shot and see how they work. Um, they look pretty stylish. I think you'd probably wear these around the, around the home and around town as well, but um, I'm gonna give them a shot out in the doors and see how that works. So that is it. That is pretty much all. The one thing, the other thing that they do that I think is really neat about Karen is that they have a way for you to, you know, uh, refresh your gear, which is what these boxes do. They come out once a quarter but also give back. So they have a company that they partner with where if you've got old gear that you don't use anymore, they come with a, a bag with a shipping label and everything, and you can send this back and it gets you know used by, it gets repaired and it gets donated to folks who really can use some outdoor gear. So it's a great way to you know be able to 
kind of plug back into the community and give back as you uh, update your own your own gear. All right, so I'm all ho I hooked up for this year's uh, summer adventures, and that's the Cairn Summer Obsidian Box unboxing on SoCalHiker.net. For more, check out the comments below and the links below, and I'll be posting something online with uh, more information about how you can find out about Karen and, and get your own subscription. It's pretty cool. Happy trails.